This video is brought to you by Database Mart. More information link in the description. Hello guys, welcome to my channel and also welcome to a new video. In this video, I'll teach you guys how to set up your very own virtual machine and how to open ports in Microsoft Azure. And before we start the video, be sure you have a valid subscription that you already set up on your Microsoft Azure. So under subscription, be sure you have a subscription in this uh, section. If your says active in your subscription, it means it's all ready to go. Let's treat that subscription. Free trial, pay as you go, which I do not recommend if you don't want to spend money. And reserve for students. If you have a, a student email that is linked to Microsoft, then you can select as rule for students and it's, it makes the job much easier for you. So if you do have a, um, a school email, then I highly suggest you pick um, Azure for students. It's pretty easy to set up and then you don't need any credit cards required for that. So anyway, let's get into the video. So. Once you're on the main page, the main portal, click virtual machine. Click plate, Azure virtual machine. And then once you're here, select, um, make sure you speak to subscription to Azure for students, resource group, create a new one and call this local or any name regardless, it doesn't really matter. Virtual machine instance, I call this instance. Region, pick the closest to you, mine's Australia East. Availability, leave that as is, security type, leave it as is. Image, be sure you pick Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, pick that. Um, virtual architecture, you can pick either ARM64 or Time64, either, either way it works for you. Size, I highly suggest you pick something that's under um, under $100 um, a month, so you have a longer um, longer virtual machine, because you only get 100 credits if you use a, um, a, a student one. If you're a beginner and you don't know how, what the SSH public key is, you can set up a password which is much easier for you. So I'll set up right now. So I'll call this server Ubuntu and then type your password. Can be any which one you want. Once you set up your username and password, then make sure you select your inbound parts to SSH22, which is important. So next is disk. You can create, you can expand your current disk or just leave it as it is. For me, I'll expand my disk. Uh, change your size with the disk and I'll select to, I don't know, 256 or 120 if you want it. Performer tier, select the default. Press OK. Delete this with BM so it, that way it deletes the disk and you know, doesn't cost you much, uh, cost you anything. So click OK. Networking. If that is, is skip all the way to review and create. You don't need to worry about this for unless you know what you're doing. So skip to review and create. And once you check the validation pass, then all you have to do is just click create and that's it. And now we have to wait for the virtual machine to start this deployment. So wait for this until it says deployment is completed. Now once your deployment is complete, you can now go to resource and this will Got straight to you to the dashboard of your virtual machine. And now, before we connect, we're going to go to networking. And this is how you create a new port. So, add inbound port rule, leave all this for as it is. And the destiny port range is like the port that you want to open. So, for microservice, it will be 25565. And you can set it to TCP, UCC, or ICP. I mainly use the three of them, but I'll set it to any for now. And once you get that all set up, just click add. And now once they created this security rule successfully, it means it's all good and ready. So go to overview and to connect to your virtual machine, this, you can just, uh, you don't need to press connect on here, just copy the public IP and install the program that I have is called the Bitbytes SSH client. All you have to do is just copy the host. The username will be your, your username that you set up on your, when you're creating the virtual machine. And the password will be your, password that you set so i'll type that right now and all you do is just click login accept and there you go you now have access to your virtual machine so yeah it's a simple video this is just the foundation of the um for my upcoming tutorials so you don't have to do this all, all the time because i'm doing it differently so yeah thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next tutorial Bye bye